So this time of year traditionally is when I collect from the my seed bank which has all kinds of things in it like these trefoils and purple clovers and hawks weeds and all kinds of grasses but I collect seeds and here are these are cowslips and you can hear they're nearly ripe for picking it's you listen for that shake sound so you want to basically the seed needs to be mature enough so that when I sow it somewhere else, see, see it's not quite ripe yet. They're still very green. So you can see the seeds are still green. So what I'm listening for is when those seeds start to rattle I then know that I can collect the cowslip seeds and spread them to other locations so these are still very green because you want them to be uh, black so another seed that I've been collecting are vetches this is the vetch seed and it's very easy because the seed pod goes black. And then, um, so it's easy to recognize when they're ready. And so these are still slightly green because if you collect vetch seeds, you have to be careful because this explodes to spread the seed. But there you can see the seed is basically ripe so I can now go and spread that to somewhere where I want the vetch to grow. And so this is early spring plants that come out. I am now collect seeds around this time to spread in other locations. And here are several different kinds of, I, I believe these are field scabies. Here's one and here's another. And the bees love them. That's an ash tree. But these are field scabies. But around this time is when the cow parsley seeds are ripening. They're not quite ready yet. They're still green as well. And these will be, I'll collect some of these and sow them in other places as well. Because as I've said earlier, it's like a uh, fly repellent. The, they, the livestock loves eating the flowers and the leaves. The leaves have all now shed it out and died back because they've fed the root structure of the plant. And the livestock, there still would be a little bit of sap in here, which livestock love bashing their head against because it's kind of like an insect repellent. Here also, the bluebells. These bluebells are not quite ready yet for um, to be collected. They need to go yellow and then you pop those open and there's lots of seeds. And it takes about three to four years for bluebell seeds to mature into producing a flower. So that's the bluebell seeds, seed heads. Down here are the yellow clover or uh, trefoil. And this is, these seed heads are maturing. They're not ready to spread yet, but you can see that they are producing seeds. So these will be collected in a few days or so. They're still green, so they need to be uh, black or very not brown before you collect them. So those are the, uh, what some people call the white clover or a trefoil or, uh, it's not bird's foot trefoil, this is another just straight trefoil. Here's salad burnet. Their seeds, their seeds are about ready. You can see there is uh, some of their seeds. This is how I would collect seeds before my book did very well, so I could buy directly from Cotswold's seeds. This is how, um, there you go, there's a beautiful salad burnet seed right there. 
So I would collect these and spread them to locations where I wanted more salad burnet to grow. So they're just about ready. They're a little bit pale for my liking. I like them to get a bit browner before uh, I take them away. But you have to take them away before they fall off the mother plant. So you can see they're getting very close to being ready to be sown. There's more. And then you would just do something like that. Over the fence to another field and hope that the field mice don't eat them all or the birds. And that's how I've been diversifying for years my fields when I didn't have the money for expensive seed from a multi-species sward seed distributor. Here's more scabias about to flower. Uh, but if you go further down in here, you'll see here, these are vetches that are ready to, their seeds are ready for me to pick and distribute. That one might be a little bit too raw because it's a bit green, but this one is ripe. And I will now put those in another location where I want vetch to grow. And as you can see, I have loads of helpers, loads of seed collecting helpers. All wondering what I'm looking at. It says it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't sound like anything. What is she looking at? And I say, I'm looking at vetch seed heads. There you can see these ones aren't ripe enough. They're green. Salad burnet. There's the flower. Then this is the developing of the seed head. So then this is the seed in there, or the seeds. For vetches, this is the flower. Then the flowers fade. The pod appears and changes color to be black so that the ripe seeds are in there. This is the yellow clover or trefoil, depending on what you want to call it. There's its flower, then the development of its seed head, and then here it's a ripe seed head. Seed head. So those are three very important herbs that I have been self-sowing across the farm for many, many, many years, and how I produced my mixed species sward before I could afford the expensive Cotswold seeds. I would collect seeds on my own, from my own land or from surrounding land.